everyone, Kate here from MB Tennis. Hope you guys are doing awesome today. It has been a while. It has been a while since we've put out a video. I've been super busy with the end of school, NCAAs, a lot of stuff going on. But we'll save all that other fun stuff for another video. Today we are going to talk about something that has been requested so, so many times in another video in the comment sections, and that is a demo of the Pure Aero VS, the racket endorsed by Carlos Elcaraz, Holger Rune, and Felix Oje Aliasim. And of course, everybody's talking about Carlos Elcaraz a lot. So this is Carlitos's frame. So let's jump into it, and I'm really excited to tell you guys uh, what I think about the racket, what I like, what I don't like, Will I switch to this racket? Make sure you stay to the end of the video to check and see if I'm going to make the switch. So there's a lot of good stuff to jump into here, so I'm not going to waste any more time. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and we'll see you at the end. All right, here we go. No messing around. Shirts off, guns out. We're ripping some forehands here. What do I think of the forehand? Um... This racket is overall very solid on the forehand. I can definitely say it does have aspects from the Extreme Tour, which is the racket that I'm currently using, which many of you guys know. Uh, but it also has a little bit more zip on it, and I felt like I was getting some extra help from the racket. A lot of the guys on the team were saying that it was bouncing higher up on them. Um, it had more spin, and overall it was just heavier. So if you're somebody that you know, wants to get a heavy forehand um, and feels like they could maybe benefit from a racket like this. The forehand uh, on this racket is great and maybe this is a good one for you. Um, especially, you know, digging out of the corners is nice as well, getting that extra help when you're defending. Approaching, it was very solid. Uh, I was really able to, uh, on the forehand as well, uh, the pickups were really nice on the forehand. I thought I was able to flatten it out, take it on the rise. That's what I mean by pickups. Um, like, you know, on the rise, when you're kind of flat-footed sometimes too, I thought this racket was really, really good for that. Especially where, I really noticed this because in this video, uh, I, I have a little bit of an ankle issue right now, so I wasn't able to move all that much compared to normal. And the racket, I noticed it was helping me. There were some shots that... I might have not have been able to pull off with my current racket. So I appreciated that uh, in a sense uh, that the racket was giving me some help. Now to the backhand. This is where things kind of went a little bit south for me. I didn't really enjoy the backhand. I'm going to say this a lot. The feeling. I didn't have the feel like I did on my racket. Uh... I never really felt connected and I didn't know where the ball was going to go. And for me, and for obviously a lot of people, when you don't really have that feel, you don't know when, you don't know where it's going. I didn't really feel like I knew where the ball was going. Um, it was very light in the hoop. It felt light in the hoop on the backhand side. And I had trouble with the maneuverability a bit from the forehand to the backhand side. And I don't know why that was because I have used bigger rackets like the Pure Aero Tour. So overall on the backhand side it was just especially backhand topspin it wasn't good enough but I was surprised that the backhand felt not as good as I thought it would compared to the forehand because the, the forehand was unbelievable in my opinion but the backhand was really a step back. Um more to like backhand slices and stuff. Uh, I enjoyed the slice. It wasn't amazing, but it was definitely something I could work with. I wouldn't switch to this racket for the backhand and the slice, let's just say that. I enjoy my current racket much more on the backhand top and backhand slice. Now, it's not to say that it's bad, but just was an area I didn't love. So now we're here at the net. This is another area where I feel like the feel was a little bit off. Uh, 
sometimes when I'm at the net, I didn't feel like I could feel the ball coming off the string bit. That's something with my racket right now that I really, really love. And I think it's because Babolat rackets, they're so stiff, the ball comes off. It's sometimes like a trampoline. It doesn't stay on the string bed that long. It just goes boing. So it didn't feel wrong or bad, but I just felt on the volleys, it was a little light in the hoop. It did that little waggle, wiggle thing when you hit the ball. Um, so maybe some weight at three and nine might help if you're using this racket. For me, that's definitely what I would do if I was using this racket. And just because I'm saying all these things right now doesn't mean it's a bad racket. It's just saying these are some things that I would change or, you know, what I liked and disliked, really. Overheads, going to be up front with you guys. This is an absolute beast. You want a racket for overheads? Buy this sucker. Uh, very, very solid. I feel like I couldn't really miss an overhead, honestly. Like, so solid. And this really kind of translate into hitting serves as well which i'll get into later but i enjoyed hitting overheads with this uh it flew or sorry flowed through the air nice when i let it bounce when i didn't let it bounce when the sun was in my eyes i had confidence very good for overheads so now we're here at the serve i love pure arrow rackets when serving i feel like some people love them some people hate them but I love them. I feel like I'm able to get a little bit more pop on the first and second serves compared to my serve right now. Uh, the only downside is sometimes you don't know how to control it. I could control it because I'm used to, I, I was used to using a pure error tour, so I was familiar with the feeling. And it's nice just to crank out some flat bombs sometimes, so I enjoy that. The second serves too, unbelievable. Um, I think I might have hit one of the best serves of my my life. My be one of the best second serves ever. It's just like kicking like never before. So that's definitely a strength of this racket. Um, yep, slice serve also really solid. I can't really knock anything on the serve. So A plus pure arrow BS, and maybe that's why uh, Felix, Carlos, Holger, Rune, these guys, their serves are solid because of this racket. I don't know. I'm just kind of joking with you guys. I don't know if it's because of that. They probably have a customized racket. But overall, on the serve, felt very, very impressed. Now, for returns, it comes back to the feel talk again, okay? and a little bit of maneuverability. I struggled a little bit on return with this. Um, I couldn't, it was the same thing with my backhand. Uh, I didn't feel like I could, I could control it. I didn't know where it was going, unlike the serve where I felt like I had complete control. And that's one thing with my racket right now that I love. It's a little bit more flexible. It's more uh, of a tighter string bed. And I feel like I can really put the ball wherever I want and hit it however I want. Where this one, it was a little all over the place. I felt like I was spraying a little bit, especially when guys were hitting flat serves at me. It kind of reminded me of some of the things, sorry, some of the issues I was having with my pure arrow tour um, before I switched to the extreme. Now, we'll talk about a little bit of the maneuverability here. The racket itself in its hands feels great when you're just holding in your hands do some shadow swings i love it uh there's definitely no issues there it, it feels like any other pure arrow but just a little bit smaller which i enjoy especially it's really like a regular pure arrow and an extreme tour had a baby uh, i've talked about other rackets having babies in the past if you've seen other videos but it was really like a combo and i enjoyed that just feeling it in my hands but once i got out on the court I started playing points. It felt a little heavy. Um, and I don't know if heavy is the right word. The maneuverability felt heavy, like it was hard to move. So maybe not heavy, but it was hard to move around compared to my current racket, which is even weighted up. So that's one thing to note. One thing with Babolat uh, Pure Arrow rackets I find is their, their grip sizes are big. So I have a four and three eighths grip with my current racket and I demoed the four and three eighths grip here 
and it felt big in my hands like I, that's that's what I mean maybe the maneuverability there their grip sizes so maybe I would need to try a four and a quarter but I just felt moving it around uh, was a little bit difficult especially in the points now with that being said this is still a great racket so let's talk about some some players that I think could use this I think this racket can be used beginner, intermediate, and advanced. If you're somebody that's, you know, wanting to get into that pure arrow line, but not wanting to go full full throttle on the tour or a plus or even a regular, this is a nice way to start to have a tiny bit of control, but not overkilling it really. Uh, or if you're somebody that's coming from a controlled racket like you know radicals, prestiges, blades, etc., and you want more pop and you want some more spin potential, bigger launch angle, etc. This is a nice one to try out. One more little thing I want to say is I don't think Carlos Alcaraz uses this racket stock form. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I just thought it was too light in the hoop and the maneuverability wasn't good enough. So I feel like it might be customized to his own spec. All right, we're back in the chair. We're here to conclude the Pure Arrow Tour VS. So am I gonna switch to this racket? I know that's kind of the burning question in everybody's mind since I used the Extreme Tour and I am not going to switch to this racket. I'm sorry for all the folks that really wanted me to switch to this racket. It is a great frame, but right now, uh, it just didn't feel, it just didn't feel. That was what we were talking about in the video. The feel did not feel, the feel did not feel. The feel did not feel good enough for me. And the maneuverability was not good enough. And I felt like it was, it was just a little bouncy uh, off the string bread. And it, you know, reminded me of this racket. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the Extreme. Let me throw that over there. I don't have the Extreme Tour. Or sorry, the Extreme Tour. I do have the Extreme Tour. I don't have the Pure Aero VS on me right now because I had to leave it back at the club. Um, but yeah, not going to switch to this racket. But don't get me wrong. It is a great racket. It is worth a demo 100%. Uh, I thought it was going to be more like my racket than I actually thought. It actually was. Um, I think people think these rackets are extremely close, and they are. And they are both 305 stock form. And, you know, they're both 98 square inches. But the pure arrow, you know, Babylon, it's a different animal, man. And uh, for some people, it's going to be absolutely ludicrous spin, ludicrous power, ludicrous everything but then for some people they're not going to be able to handle it and they're not going to be able to control it especially if they're coming from controlled rackets uh, but if you're not this one's going to be deadly for you so don't get me wrong i really enjoyed this demo and i'm really happy to share all this information with you guys because i don't know how many people commented about this racket in my why i'm switching which was like over a year ago which is over you know, 30,000 views now. So go watch that video if you haven't seen it yet. But that is going to be it. I hope I gave you guys some answers. Super happy to demo this racket. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. We're back in the business recording some content. I'm back home. Let's do this. Let's keep pumping it out. You guys are awesome, and we will talk to you guys soon.